Join us on a climb to the top of Massachusetts. This 13 mile long strenuous loop hike over Mount Greylock has something for everyone. Getting ready. We are on our way up and over Greylock to do a, a beautiful loop over here in Massachusetts as we climb uh, the highest mountain in Massachusetts, Mount Greylock. Look at this green grass. Woo! And these uh, leaves coming out in the trees. Leaves That's coming out. Spring is here. <laughs> it's like 70 degrees. We're, we're oh, it's uh... hot in the sun at 10 o'clock <laughs> in the morning. But we're going to head up the Money Brook area. Blue Blaze. Blue Blaze. And then we're actually going to come back out this stony ledge uh, make a loop. trail to make a loop. Um, depending on exactly how we feel today, depends on how long it is because there's a ton of trails here. So we will have our trail maps and we will be navigating and we're going to take you along over Mount Greylock. So we have uh, made it up about two miles from the trailhead up Money Brook, and we are now at the intersection of the Mount Prospect Trail and the, uh, not Muddy Brook, Money Brook Trail. So we have come two miles up Money Brook um, to this trail junction. Uh, if you stay on the Money Brook Trail, you will uh, end up going past Money Brook Falls, mm -hmm. uh, which is a pretty uh, waterfall. It's we'll cool. throw a picture from uh, a previous hike in so you can see what's there. Lots but, of wildflowers so far. But we are gonna make a pretty steady climb up Mount Prospect, uh, which then takes us out to a view before we drop down into the notch um, where there is a shelter on the Appalachian Trail. Yep. And then we go up onto the ridge with the mountains that make up uh, Mount Greylock. Be forewarned, Mount Prospect is quite the uphill. And don't waste any time. Once you leave the Money Brook Trail, the Mount Prospect Trail does not waste any time on getting up to the top of Mount Prospect. Um, probably about three quarters of the way and it sure is kicking our butt. Uh, it's this little narrow ridge that you come climbing and um, I think the last time we did it, there must've been leaves on the trees. Cause right now with no leaves, it is just full sunshine. The thermometer on my pack in the sun is reading 90 degrees. I know it's not 90, but that's sun baking you. So we have both been uh, going slow, taking breaks, drinking plenty of water. You know you have reached the summit of Mount Prospect when you see a big pile of rock. That was tough. It was. So, so what happened? Well. I bought this last night from my camp out and I dropped it on the rock and it exploded. So now I have to suck it down. <laughs> Cider for everybody. Hit the summit of Mount Prospect a ways back. And from there, it's uh, downhill to flat with a maybe a teeny bit of uphill along uh, the long ridge to this view here, looking down into the valley. And uh, we've just intersected with the Appalachian Trail, which we are gonna take down to uh, the area of the shelter and then across through that notch up onto the ridge. I think it's Mount Williams, if I uh, am correct. If not, you'll see the right thing down there. So we'll take you along. After the viewpoint, we intersect with the Appalachian Trail. We are going southbound towards Connecticut. This is a tough one. You know, you can do the same hike multiple times and then have a time when it's a lot harder than it was the last time you did it. And this is one of those days. Just the sun is just blazing down on us. Very little shade. Also keep in mind, not a lot of water. 
trail, bring a lot of extra because we've run into several people that either don't have water or they have run out. We have made it to Mount Williams, which uh, is the first of the three on the Greylock Ridge. So there's uh, Williams, and then I think it's like Fitch, or I'll, I'll put it there because I don't remember. And then Greylock. Well, the trail from uh, Williams to Fitch is uh, up, but definitely not as much up as every other mountain. So this so far has been, uh, it's the tallest so far, yep. though Greylock's taller. Still no water. Still no water, which we expected. So be aware of that. Yep. And um, yeah, nothing really exciting about this peak. Uh, the trail kind of misses the, the peak itself, but it's just woods, no views. And uh, now we're going to start descending. And we saw snow. We did. There was a few patches. And then, uh, so we descend a bit. And then we start ascending uh, up Greylock. And we'll see what's up there. We're on the world famous Thunderbolt Ski Trail. Or I think it's world famous something right first ski trail in new england and there it goes do you want to ski it it's a little scratchy right now yeah it's a little thin cover thunderbolt's always an ass kicker especially if you're a sobo at through hiker but Jeff, look at that view. Ah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We just have a little bit more of an uphill behind me. Not much. To the tower. news we are leaving Greylock heading down we have uh, made it to the little pond on Greylock uh, which turns out to be the only water really uh, that's available uh, this early in the season uh, everything up on top of the mountain was closed up the lodge and the, the water supply up there so if you're hiking Greylock early in the season, just be aware that this pond is the only water that's that's around. Nothing else is flowing. No, nothing. There's really no creeks or anything that you cross. There is one vernal pool on uh, Mount Williams, but I would prefer, or it would not be my first choice. Uh, but uh, this water is good. We're filtering, we're gonna drink some, and then we're gonna head down the hopper. Just about back out to the truck. We had a great sunset for the way down. Totally beautiful. This is the uh, fourth time we've done Greylock from this side in various different versions of the loop. And I think every single time it kicks our butt. It's a butt kicker. It is a total butt kicker. Greylock is not an easy peak. No, it's uh, almost every trail basically starts out kind of level like this, pretty, then goes straight up. Kind of like the cast. Yeah, and then kind of goes over rolling bumps really and then you go straight down so um, we are somewhere around 12 miles for the day and um, we're gonna sleep good tonight I think so summit another state high point with us as we climb to the top of New Hampshire and New England on Mount Washington <laughs> 